What's up guys this is Shivane and in this video I will tell you guys how you can fix the problem that your windows update is stuck at 100% on your windows 11 or windows 10 pc. So if you're facing the problem that your windows update gets stuck at some point usually at 100% then you have to restart your computer and it never updates then this video will help you fix this issue. But before I begin with the video I would just like to tell you guys that if you guys encounter any software related problems then just comment down below or email us and we'll try to make a solution video for you. Now let's begin with the video. The first solution to this problem is wait for the process to complete. I know it sounds like a joke but it may take longer for some windows updates to install so before you begin troubleshooting ensure that the windows update is actually stuck and not in between operations you should give the update at least one to two hours before proceeding with troubleshooting the second solution is removing any USB peripherals and restarting your PC this is quite obvious as the first thing you should try is to remove any external devices from your PC and make sure you disconnect any devices like pen drives external external mouse and keyboards, portable hard drives etc and check if that fixes your issue. Once you have removed all your peripherals, try updating and check if that issue has false. You can also try restarting your PC and check if that fixes the issue as well. Now let's begin with the actual solution. So the third solution is restarting your windows update service. So for that, go to your windows search and search for command prompt. Then right click on it and select run as administrator. Once you run the command prompt as an administrator, type in the following commands. I'll link these commands down in the description below for you to check out. These are the net commands. So once you typed out all of these commands, then just restart your computer and check if that fixes your issue. The fourth solution is running the windows update troubleshooter. So open up your windows settings by searching for windows settings and then click on the troubleshoot option under the systems tab then click on other troubleshooters and then select windows update and click run then the update troubleshooter will pop up and look for available issues just follow the on-screen instructions to remove any problems and try updating again and see if that problem was fixed the fifth solution is performing a clean boot so for that you have to start up your system configuration utility now you can do that by pressing the windows and r key together and typing in ms config then once your system configuration opens up go to your general tab and uncheck load startup items then go to the services tab and select hide all microsoft services to ensure you don't disable any essential system services then just click on disable all to remove any third party listed services from startup and click apply and ok to save settings then restart your computer and then check if that fixed the issue if it did fix the issue, that means one of the services was causing this issue and you can start enabling the services one by one to find out which one was causing this issue and simply remove it or block it. The sixth solution to fixing this problem is using the DISM and FCC commands. So open up your start menu and type in command prompt, then right click on it and run as administrator. Once you do this, just type in the following commands. Again, I'll link these in the description below for you to check out. These are the DISM and SFC scan now commands. What these commands do is scan your PC and automatically install broken or missing Windows files. And these commands are very helpful for troubleshooting and fixes a lot of issues. So make sure you do this and check if that fixed your issue. The seventh solution is booting your Windows PC into safe mode. So what safe mode is, is a windows mode that launches windows only with the basic drivers and programs. And if any other apps in your system is interfering with your installation process, this will fix the issue for you. So to do that, go to your windows settings by pressing the windows and I key together, then choose system from the left pane and head over to the recovery section then click on restart now which is under the advanced setup options and then hit restart now again on the dialog box then head over to the troubleshoot and advanced options in the next window and under the startup settings click on restart after that in the following window of startup settings you will find a lot of options just press 4 to enable safe mode and launch your pc into safe mode then check if that fixes your issue of this update stuck at 100 percent problem if it still did not fix the issue what you can do is you can also install these updates manually via the microsoft update catalog to prevent failing of this issue i'll link the microsoft update catalog down in the description below for you to check out so the eighth step is running the automatic repair system of Microsoft. So if the update is still stuck at 100%, you can have the automatic repair to fix it. 
So in order to launch that, go to your command prompt using the Windows search and searching for command prompt, then right click on it and run as administrator and then typing the following command to boot into recovery mode. The command is shutdown space slash r space slash o. Once you boot your computer into Windows recovery mode, click on troubleshoot in the window to continue. Then click on advanced option and then choose startup repair slash automatic repair in the advanced option screen and wait for the process to be completed. Once the process is finished, you can restart your computer and run Windows update and check if that fixes your issue. I cannot show you the screen recording for this because that makes my computer turn off and I cannot record that part. But I will show you some photos as a reference which you can use to solve this issue and navigate to this problem solution. So the ninth solution to this problem is performing system restore in the recovery mode. Now this fix is optional and will only work if you have created a restore point in advance. So you can try this as a final method if you have a restore point. So you can roll back your windows version to the previous restoration point for the update and check if that fixes your issue. However, since I don't have myself a restore point for my computer, I cannot show you how to system restore. So there are a lot of YouTube videos covering this specific topic of system restore in recovery mode using a restore point. You can try watching those videos and use them as a reference for fixing this problem. However, this is quite an optional fix as this might not work for everybody as a lot of people do not have a restore point made in advanced on windows but if you had made one then you can use that to revert back to your windows version and try updating again so this was it for this video guys i hope this video helped you solve your issue if it did then just remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel and if it did not then comment down below and we'll try to figure out a specific solution which fixes your problem other than that i'll see you in the next video until then bye